What's up, friends of the good mood? It's Manny, and welcome to the most satisfying War Robots video to watch ever in terms of free for all combat. Ladies and gentlemen, sit down, lean back. You're going to love this one so much. I've cut it together to get you to get the coolest moments, guys. With this, this was me on my own account with my own Gust and uh, no, no, uh, uh, it's Gauss and Volt set up on the Hawk, and I'm just destroying the entire map itself with this setup, dude. Seriously, look, look. And boots my kill! Woo! And that's my kill too! And that's what we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I mean with satisfying to watch. This is what I'm going to do for the entire match now, okay? So uh, this is gonna be two matches for you here. By the way, in the top right corner, you find my brand new video on the Paramotor channel with the most intelligent drone that exists on the market today. Kill! And, uh, yeah, check it out in the top right corner, my most beautiful video footage ever of me flying the paramotor. Would be awesome if you could spend a minute and check this out, guys, seriously. And thump! There goes another kill! And there goes also this guy almost. I saved one of my bullets and boop! Godlike! Godlike already! We barely began this video. Now there's an Aochun flying up, he got one to his face before he reached stealth. And, uh, now let's just, uh, thump! Beyond godlike, dude! I just started the match and there goes living legend! That's right, this guy has cloaking unit, which is a problem because it means I couldn't really get him the way I wanted to. And I think he was also face shifting on top, right? So I died once, but let's just finish this match with this next robot here, this very one right here. Never dying again, never ever dying once more. Can you believe it? Let's see if we can make it happen, all right, guys? I'm in the middle between two enemies, uh, but I'm waiting for it. And I'm going to show you here how deadly... Uh, the, obviously, the Hawk is deadly, we know that, but how deadly this Gauss and Volt combination is. It's completely out of the question how good it is. But got this guy. Here he comes. Boop. Got him through his resistance because those weapons bypass resistance. Nine kills, first place, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And the guy's already 50, more than 50% dead uh, because, uh, yeah, I just hit him just once. By the way, what does that mean? 50%? You're 50% dead. Yes, that's what you are, man. So here, follow up with boom, another kill. And uh, did I promise too much, ladies and gentlemen, when I said this was going to be the most satisfying to watch ever War Robots video? Dude, I love this. I love this. It's just hanging around on a sniper map and deleting everyone from a distance. How good is that? I mean, seriously, this is the coolest thing ever. Let's release him here and then wait for it. Boop, and finish the rest. Rampage. Now, Overdrive is starting to become active, but it's already deactivated again. I was doing all this right now without Overdrive, okay? Here goes Overdrive. Uh, it's way... Oh, I just shot one shot into the um, Rav Ravana there. Scorpion is jumping on me. I'm jumping straight upwards. He doesn't know where I am and he loses the target So he could even though he was jumping on me He couldn't actually make good use of the time he had despite legendary pilot and stealth now while falling with overdrive Boom one shot and the dudes bites the dust my gosh is that insane. There's so much firepower resistance of the enemy robots don't matter and boom look at the damage Without overdrive again, the overdrive is gone again. I can't believe I constantly am not having overdrive, but it's going to activate in a just a matter of seconds. And when it does, this guy, you can kiss him goodbye right there. All right, let's wait for it. Wait for it and boosh, jump out and boom. Not only do I have overdrive, I'm also running the damage boost that I get from using the active module um, every time with a drone. Every time I use an active module, in this case jump, I get another 75% damage boost like overdrive. And you can have this in addition to overdrive, which means you have you can have around 300,000 uh, 300 damage output altogether. This guy every time face shifts right at that point. Have you noticed that? Every time this guy reaches, uh, like, shortly before his last turn, he activates overdrive. Every single time. Uh, face shift, I mean. Here we go. Bam! One hit. Now, overdrive is finally running, and when I now jump, we have 300% damage going on. Boom! Did you see that? That is not a level 1 Arthur we're, on, we're walking in right there. We bypassed the resistance, and we had 300% damage rolling at the moment I fired at him. 
but I'm not interested in dealing damage to a Titan. I'm interested in getting the kills and providing the most satisfying to watch free for all video ever in the history of War Robots. So, wait for it. The Nightingale now wants to land because he realizes that is an easy kill, but no sir, it's already mine. And now, let's get ourselves a Nightingale too, all right? Jump. Oh, thanks for the non-existing jump, by the way, War Robots. Then let's take the Arthur for the moment, and we're just gonna get this guy a second time later, okay? I wanted to jump up and hit the Nightingale, but my jump was non-existent. Thanks. Thanks, awesome. So, here, hit him once. Now he's like, uh-oh, I'm getting shot. I need to stealth fly. All right, so in the meantime, I'll just keep myself busy with this Arthur. I know I will be having it. I'll be handling it, no problem. All I need to do is jump, right? That's what we do. We jump. Then we activate flight, then we are super high up, and then we can shoot over the Arthur shield. But I want to use that jump damage from the drone and the overdrive. So, let's see what I do here. Okay, and... Boom! Killed the Nightingale or whatever it was, and then finishing the Arthur. Yeah! <laughs> That's how we do it in the money town, dudes. Oh man, I love this. Look at this Titan. Bam, bam! So much damage output at this much range, 800 meters. He has only 600 meters range, now 300% damage output, and he loses so much of his Titan. Again, I have 800 meters range, he has only 600. So, when I walk backwards, he's never gonna get in range, and let's snack that kill, BATS! 18 kills, first place. I'm gonna show you the stats later to show and prove to you how little kills the enemies actually got because I'm stealing everything. Alright, I want that out, John. Activating 300% damage and BAM! Starting to fly as well. And then having a quick look at what's going on. That little thing right here, what I did, that was me just checking what's to my left. Look. Whoop! Did you see that, that short look? That was all I needed to know that I'm, I'm good on the left side. But I needed to know that, so I had to do a little look. Now, I didn't get through this Arthur shield yet, but all I need to do, <coughs> excuse me, is wait for a little time before my flight comes back, and then you know what we're doing. We're gonna jump up, we'll hit the Arthur from up with the Gauss and Volt, then we activate flight, and then we laser over his shield, okay? Sounds like a plan? All right, let's do it. Two, one, bam! And that was the over, uh, that was the Volt, Volt and, uh, and a Gauss, and that was the laser beam from the Hawk. 20 kills. That is completely unreal. And I'm not even finished yet. Boom! Did you see how much damage this guy just took? Now, he's gonna start to fly, but before he reaches altitude... Double kill! I got him, just as he was about to activate his stealth mode right there. Yeah! Boom! Boom! And we have a Ravana right there who eats one to the face, to the, to the kin, to the chin, to the nip, to the kidney, whatever it is that we just hit, I don't know. It's a robot, it's hard to give it some human uh, things, attributes. But uh, yeah, so he's taking a lot of damage, and now I'm just gonna brawl with him. Let's just brawl with him, alright? You and me, dude, let's just brawl it out. We're gonna stand in the open, we're gonna brawl. Who's got the better brawler here? And boom! There you go. 22 kills. He spawns in with one more robot, and was it gonna be... Oh man, you should not have done that, my friend. The first third per thirty percent was the Volt and Gauss, and the not uh, next is the laser beam. And then we're landing like a boss on the heliport of the landing spot here on the, uh, on Canyon, sitting nicely, easily on the heliport with a perfect landing. Twenty-three kills. The second place enemy got four kills. I just stole everything. And not just stealing, I did 6 million damage almost, so those kills were supposed to be mine too. But I did ske steal quite a few of them as well. So let's jump into the next match. And again, ladies and gents, in the top right corner, please, if you have a minute, it would help me out so much if you could check out that brand new Paramotor video I have released uh, here on the on the Paramotor channel. I'm pretty sure you're gonna love the game, uh, the, the video footage as well. It's insanely cool with a drone that is autonomously following me with a GPS beacon that I carry with me. It's the most intelligent drone that exists on the market right now, the Skydio 2. It's a US product, it's manufactured in the US, and you can't currently buy it anywhere outside of US and Canada. So, um, 
Let's go. We already destroyed this guy's chance for success here quite a bit. Then I'm flying up myself here, and then I'm lasering him down as he's trying to do the same to me. He's got a physical shield, an ECU shield, that's why I'm not doing damage for a few seconds. But as soon as I start firing now, he turns around and pop gets one to the face. Now, there's another enemy spawning in. Let's just one-tap the guy in one hit, and then he gets a complete free kill. Look at this. This guy literally, look at this! He literally spawned to my left right there. He literally, let's make the music a bit quieter, he literally spawned right to my left. I just killed him here a second ago, and before my ability is regenerated, he's already in there and got, me, got, got himself a kill. That was a, b by the way, my kill, totally deserved, yes. Uh, that was, that was a total free kill for this other dude, right? Let's be honest, man, Warobots really gave him that kill for free. He did not have to do anything for this. Same as I did after I spawned in here and just snacked the kill over the other side. So, come on, look at me, dude. Ah, he already had his mo uh, his resistance on, so I damaged myself. So I'm starting to fly now, with overdrive running, instantly deleting the Spectre. And now this guy's gonna land, but he's got that ECU shield, so yeah. Let's wait for him to turn our way, pop, 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 and see how much damage he just took only from overdrive and uh, the Gaussian Volt. Now, I didn't re remember that he has only short-range weapons, otherwise I could have used the jump unit here. Uh, but I'm not jumping up because I'm afraid he might start to fly. And if I jump, then I have no ability, I will be an easy target in the air, so instead of jumping, I remained on the ground. I'm wasting all his time and ability, then I start to fly myself. He's gonna act use his ECU shield, he's gonna try and face shift, but it's it doesn't matter what you do, my friend, man. You are toast. That's right. And uh, that kill! Oh, I almost got it, but I think I was slightly out of 300... Uh, out of... Um, let's check this. I would. I think I was slightly out of 800 meters, was I? Let's see. Yeah, I was... Look, look, look. I was at 810 meters when I fired. Otherwise, I would have killed that guy too. That would have been my kill if I hadn't been 10 meters too far away from it, dude. So there is our friend again. BAM! 300% damage. Look how little health he's got left after this. Next situation, okay, I just went forward into another situation. There's a Ravana on the ground. That was just overdrive. I know, without overdrive. Now with the uh, drone boost, BAM! Goes, <laughs> BAM says the Hawk when it snacks the Ravana. Right? I love it. People in the comments always like, what's Manny's favorite snack? It's... And then there's nothing, like, and then you have to press read more. And then all the way down says, it's Ravana's. Voosh! Got him at 800 meters range. I'm pretty sure this guy here, this guy expected me to shoot the Ares. I'm pretty sure he's like, ah, I'm so far away, nothing can happen to me. And he's got another target in front of him anyways. And I was like, no, 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 no. You are the second placed enemy, man. You are my target, sir. So I'm waiting for as long as I can. Then I'm immediately starting to laser at this guy again, who comes in with his next hawk. Then I'm landing here in safety behind this little uh, thing where his hawk ability can't reach me. So, sorry dude, your hawk ability goes to waste. So, another situation on another map, boom, look at these guys. A phantom and a hawk is arguing who's the stronger thing. And uh, you know who is the strongest, right? It's the Gauss and Volt hawk from all the way over on the other side of the map. <laughs> who just comes around the corner and snacks kills left and right. So here we go, this guy comes around the corner, drip, takes a few shots, then we go for the Titan, then the Hawk wants to fly up, and I'm just gonna say, nope, you are not gonna get a kill today. Raps with Volt and Gauss, I snacked him, then I move around under the bridge, I'm getting a lot of damage here, and the big problem is from behind, somebody else is gonna start to fire now too, but nothing that a good time jump can't handle. So walking close to him, by the way, this is a trick, if you're too close to a Ming like that, just go in face-hugging distance and hug him. He will have a hard time hitting you with his weapons. Next shot and boom, he's gone. My damage output, you see in the top left, the damage was still rolling. The damage boost here from the drone jump was still rolling. And that's why I was able to deal enough damage to tap him down in this one additional hit. So, we have two enemies against us here. See what's going on. Let's see whom we're going to attack first. Pam! I hit this guy so hard. He had a little poop pile in his pants and he activated space sh uh, stealth. All by a uh, cloaking unit, obviously. Uh, but uh, so, let's just land and give him one more hit as I my, re my own resistance is still up so I can hit him hard. And uh, so I did, for free. 
Didn't really take any resistant back throwback damage because my resistance and reflector was still on. Jumping up, flop, get the kill. Now, who do you think is going to win this? The Ravana or me with low health and no ability? Pam! One shot later, things looking quite different than before, huh? Well, let's see. He's using his next ability, so now my ability is back to... And, uh, pop, corner shooting, jumping, pop. Even without the ability, I could have you killed him here. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm gonna start to fly. Drop him down to last stand. Go for my next target. I'm telling you, this is the most satisfying War Robots video in the universe. Boom, as he thought he can come out in safety. No, sir. There is no safety for you here. Nowhere on this map. Not against this setup. Hopefully, you, I wasn't promising too much for you guys. Hopefully, you had a great weekend, a great new year. And uh, ladies and gents, again, that video in the top right, it would be awesome if you could spend a little, uh, like three minutes or so watching it. Uh, and, and make a comment, maybe, what you think about this video and the drone. So, see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.